Hey YouTube, it's Mike Pangangs here and today I will be talking about my tactics. Uh, in the last video, I made a video talking about this overpower thing called 91, basically 91 constant pressure type of like press after possession loss where you're basically your team does the offensive trap. But I didn't show my tactics. Uh, I didn't show my formation and stuff like that. I was just basically just explaining that 91 depth is overpowered. Now, uh, I'm already in Division 3 with these tactics, okay? Um... I just reached Division 3, just so not, not to go crazy or anything, but this got me to Division 3 pretty, pretty easily. As you can see, I already have my 45 points uh, required for the for the, uh, the week and all that stuff. So let's show you the team. And at the same time, let me show you the tactics, which I believe probably one of the strongest uh, tactics in game, um, especially that you encounter a lot of people that play 5 on the back, stuff like that. 4-3-3 three, three this year is really, really, really strong. Um, I like the way the uh, formation uh, is set up. Also for defending, especially like I said, when you're using the um, 91 uh, constant pressure depth, okay, which is the uh, press after pressure shot, which you will see right here. The team that I'm using is a pretty good team. Uh, every card here is obtainable, uh, except for maybe um, Atana Bone Matting, which I ended up pulling her uh, at the beginning of the year. She was a uh, first owner, tradable. I ended up keeping her, uh, of course, because I like her. So for the moment, I'm not selling her or anything. I'm just keeping her in a team. But everybody else on the team is pretty much. Uh, easy to achieve, right? There's nothing really expensive here. I mean, my most expensive player is probably Frank Pong, and he's like 30,000 coins, right? Everybody else is uh, either an SBC or a Ev Evolution card, whatever you want to call it, right? So anyways, let's go into the tactics. As you can see, it's the 4-3-3. Uh, three, three. I call it 4-3-3 three, three attacking. Uh, well, it is attacking. Um, so we have for sure custom. Then it's, of course, people, it's the, vi the variation of 4-3-3 three, three attack. We have built up play, uh, counter. Now, this is important because a lot of people are struggling with, for example, um, getting their players to make runs. Whenever you put this in counters, uh, they do those runs for you. But at the same time, you also have to remember, uh, you know, while your players are running, you know, there's chances of you being countered too, right? Because now your players are, are, are basically... Uh, you know they're moving in front right so they're they're, they're counting this this is a bit like in the old fifas when you played fast build up if that makes any sense right and then there's the overpowered thing the defensive approach of aggressive which starts at 95 uh when you do it uh non-manually but if you put it at 91 it's already enough for you to have the offensive trap and the uh press after possession loss which i believe this for me is super overpowered uh again everybody has their choice of what they like to play with i'm telling you guys try it out you gotta like it uh so when it comes to the 4-3-3 attacking of course uh you know you're, you're looking for wingers that could go inside so for example uh i got both my wingers on inside four they both they both have the plus inside four plus one i don't have those plus two uh things but they also have uh other stuff but this is the one i i recommend putting it on because it basically gets them more involved uh like a bit of a striker like if you look at the way it looks like you could see that it goes into like that left side of the striker the same thing goes for the other one goes on the right side of the striker you know what i mean it becomes a bit like the four three two one of last year kind of you know which was very very low power now for my striker um i'm using toram some people like the poacher thing uh this one right here unfortunate uh i'm not crazy about it believe it or not. I, I don't think it's bad i think it's very it's one of the good ones for sure uh and this is the one that gets you behind more often apparently but because i have counter as my built-up play they're doing that anyway so i already have an, an advanced forward and plus he's also a plus one and of course uh focusing on attack so i like my forward players to focus on attacking okay um afterwards uh bomati is my shadow striker which there's two ways you could play her as a cam here you could either play her as a shadow striker which I'm, I'm i'm enjoying of course with the focus on attack but you could also play her as a um as a playmaker she does pretty well as that as that as a playmaker right but since she has the plus striker here plus one whatever you want to call it i kind of like to use that a little bit more she does it she does it a little bit better box to box midfielders both my cms except for one one of them is more going to be concentrated more on the attack as a playmaker attacking uh, center mid and the other one that's more defensive or at least I want him to be a little bit more defensive is box to box balance okay both my defenders are on defenders and defend whatever you want to call them 
Kempembe as a plus. Hernandez does an unfortunate. And my fullbacks, they're both on fullback and the fan. Now, um, my left back is really, really bad over here. But that's what I have to make the chemistry work. But uh, I do not recommend uh, early on in this game to have these guys on, uh, what's it called? Wing backs or uh, attacking wing backs, especially attacking wing backs. I mean, wing backs, depending on the player that you have, of course, you know, the, the, some of them could do the could do the work, go up and down, but you have to have a really, really good one for you to do that because it leaves you open quite often. So I kind of like the fact that you just basically, in the old days, you would have them on stay back while attacking. And that's what it is when you have full backs on defend. It's basically stay back while attacking. So those are the tactics. Um, how do you... Okay, that, that's it. I was going to say, how do you look at the code? The code is right there. So if you guys want to look up the code, it's right there. It's called, it's called, it's E K small letters, 2811, small letter V K O. I think it's an O. It has to be an O. It's definitely not a zero. O A, small letters, G capital, right? So hopefully you guys are going to go out and try out these tactics. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I personally believe 433 is a very good uh, formation this year. Again, we're very, very early on, but it's the formation that basically qualified me, got me to Division Three, and I got my rewards board weeks uh, already with this formation quite easily, to be, to be quite frankly. And, and also, you can use these type of formations also, like, for example, in squad battles, if that's something that you like to do also for the uh, rewards in squad battles, because it's definitely worth uh, playing squad battles this year, especially that you only have 12 games to play. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.